At some point in time, we might ask ourselves this question. What's the point? Nothing going right. Everything that can go wrong does. Or we might have a goal that we think we'll never reach. That job you've always wanted, and somebody else gets it. You might have been saving up for years to buy a house, but house prices go up again. The partner you've been with for years tells you she'd rather be with somebody else. All these things can leave you sitting on the sofa, staring at the wall, thinking, what's the point? If anybody tells you you're being miserable for asking that question, ignore them. It's a very good question. What's the point? But even if you'd been able to afford that house, or got that new exciting job, or found a new partner, that wouldn't have been the point either. That question would still have been hanging in the air, even if you'd achieved any of your goals. It might delay the moment you ask the question again, but you'd certainly ask it again. What's the point? You see, it's a function of our consciousness to ask that question. It's an unavoidable question. Life's little triumphs only postpone the day when we next ask that question. It might be a year or two or three, but we'll ask the question again. What's the point? It's who we are. We've all heard of a celebrity, somebody rich and famous who seems to have it all, but says she's miserable. Miserable because she can't see the point. And that's because the point is not to be found in the outcomes. It's not to be found in the job you want, the relationship you want, the money you want. That's not to say you can't want these things. But the point, the point is to be found in what you do. The point is to live, to be curious. The point is to love anything and everything. The point is to be found in the next heartbeat, the next time you walk barefoot in the grass, the next time you plunge into the water for a swim, the next time you dance with your two left feet. This is where you'll find the point.